talking with the Yankees director of baseball ops, Matt Ferry. Matt, I feel like I passed you a hundred times already today. You've been running all over the place. What is winter meetings like for you? Uh, the winter meetings are an extremely busy time. We've got league meetings. We've got uh, meetings with agents on the major league, minor league side. Uh, our war rooms fully operational uh, with all of our staff. Obviously, Cash, Tim Naring, Jim Hendry, Brian Sabian, our scouts, our analysts, our, our office people. We're all brainstorming ideas, uh, trying to make this roster the best that we can. And uh, yeah, we're in Nashville today, but we've been planning, you know, trying to improve this roster for months now, uh, even before free agency, uh, trying to create action plans and action items for each team, what to do, ideas, spitballing, all of it. And it just culminates here where I feel like everyone in, in the baseball industry is uh, here in some capacity. So. Now, you're privy to the war room. I don't know, my invitation every year gets lost in the mail. I'm not allowed in there. So take us inside there. What are you guys discussing right now? Uh, <laughs> a little tough to talk about what we're, oh, we're, I tried. we're specifically I tried, Matt talking Perry. about. But, um, you know, every team we have points of contact, whether it's Cash, whether it's Fish, whether it's Hendry, whoever it might be, we're all kind of collaborating, talking through with, with different counterparts, ideas, what works, what might not work, how to make this roster better, how to make another team's roster better, trying to, to find matches where possible. Uh, obviously, there's agents here, too. We're, tr we're trying to look in, into the free agency realm. Whatever we can do, no stone unturned to make this roster the best it can possibly be. How much of it is just texting with people from other teams and agents, and how much of it is them actually coming to the suite and meeting? A little bit of both. We go to them, they come to us. Um, but yeah, a lot of it's texting, messaging, um, phone calls. A lot. Any form of communication is, is welcome in the baseball industry. Now, you think of the offseason, you think of players that you might potentially acquire, sign, trade for, but there's been a lot of movement on the coach staff this yeah. year no more Carlos Mendoza he's going to the other side of town but you did make some additions can you walk me through the process of how you guys kind of came up with the additions of Osmus sure. and and James Rousen yeah so first off Carlos uh, Mendoza uh, I've known for a good probably 12 years here since I started uh, Mendy's been ready for for a major league opportunity as a manager for a couple years now uh, I, I can't sp speak enough highly things about uh, about Carlos. He's going to do a great job over in Queens, and I'm really proud of him. I'm, I'm really happy for him. But um, in terms of Brad and James, we obviously know James a little bit from, from his past year. Uh, he's, he's a really great connector, collaborator. Our players really resonated with him in that hitting coordinator role years ago um, and has a lot of relationships with our players already. Um, he is going to bring people together. He's going to be collaborative. He's going to work with uh, our, our staff, our analysts, our other coaches. He's going to be great. And then in terms of Brad, Brad just has a wealth of knowledge, right? He's a former major league player, former catcher, um, former major league manager, uh, bench coach, uh, has a, a, an array of experiences. Um, going through the process, um, you know, interviews, questionnaires, testing, challenging, figuring out how, what makes these guys tick is all part of the process. Uh, and in terms of Brad, I can see him and, and Booney really um, working well together in that dugout, going back and forth, uh, making sure that moves are, are vetted and, and, and really putting each player in, in the, the best spot to, to succeed on any given night. So he's going to be a really great addition. Okay, now I have probably the toughest question of the day for you. Sure. And you got to be honest about this all one. Right. All right, Opryland is beautiful, but it's a bit of a maze. Did you get lost at all going to or from the suite? I did not because I've learned this is not my first rodeo, <laughs> uh, Nashville. Good little pun there. Uh, but it, it's just a big circle. It just takes a good 10, 15 minutes to get to wherever you want to go. So just plan ahead and, and you should be good. Well, I know you have some meetings coming up, I'm sure. So I'll give you that 10 to 15 minute grace period Perfect. to get back to that suite and Brian Cashman.